As you can well imagine, my clients, my friends are all asking, what is going on in the real estate market? It's certainly changed in as little as a week ago I was showing homes. As recently as two days ago, homes were going under contract. It's changing by the hour. I wanted to give you an update just locally using Downingtown School District as an example to say, well, is there anything going on? Well, yeah. Homes are coming on as coming soon listings. We had three of those. We had 13 new active listings in the last week. Now that's granted way lower than it might normally be, but people are out there wanting to sell their house. Uh, we had three terminations and those homes came back on the market. Uh, we had nine price decreases, again, motivated sellers. Uh, Fifteen went under contract, so obviously we have buyers out there. And we did have 16 that went temporarily off the market, which is absolutely what you might expect, and I believe we will see more of that. Initially, people had concern and caution, and then they just realized this is just a bad idea to be opening my house. And now the governor has put the clamp on it all, and I applaud that. While real estate agents and any interaction personally with clients is now forbidden, title companies do continue to close homes. They're using very, very safe procedures. They actually take place in my company in cars. Well run, in my opinion. And I do think that people who want to refinance or who are past all of the inspections and appraisals and want to move forward should have that right. And um, I'm really delighted that that's been a ruling. The stock market has had its upheaval and more downheaval, if that's a word. Um, we have had an interest rate decrease. We expect that when the market returns, the rates will be even more favorable so that people can afford more house and there may be people who were not uh, going to be able to afford a house who now can so we'll have an increase perhaps in the number of buyers from that standpoint however we will have an economic change and there will be people who might have been looking forward to buying who now can no longer at least for a while in any market there are motivated buyers and sellers and unmotivated buyers and sellers. We would expect that the motivated buyers and sellers are going to jump right back into the market. Those that are unmotivated may just take their time, wait and see. I think you'll agree there is a lot of gloom and doom in the news right now, but let's take a look at some statistics. I'm getting this information from Keeping Current Matters, a really wonderful resource in real estate, and I wanna give them credit here. Unlike the crash that happened in 2008, the housing market is not the driving force here. We don't have the behaviors that led to that downfall, where people were over leveraged in their homes, taking out equity like crazy, that they were in mortgages with very little skin in the game, that lenders were lending money to anyone had a pulse. The banking industry is strong. The reasons that people move are still there. Marriage, job change, larger families. The Goldman Sachs forecast for GDP does show a decline in the second quarter, but with optimism for a rebound toward the end of the year. While we will have some financial challenges ahead, the basis for the long housing crisis that we experienced in 2008 and beyond is not what we expect now. If you take a look at the past five recessions, one was in the housing crisis. We're gonna discount that because it was a completely different situation. And in the other four, only one of them did we have a decline in prices. So it's not necessarily so that a recession and a decline in prices goes together. I don't have a crystal ball, but based on what we know, I think the housing market will not crash like it did in 2008. 
we have lots of motivated buyers and lots of motivated sellers. So my job is to put them together as soon as we can get back out of our houses. If you'd like to learn more about the coronavirus and how you can help, watch this video. Please subscribe to my channel so you can stay in touch with real estate in Chester County.